The top automated trading strategy for NinjaTrader just got another upgrade. If you're looking to invest in the most sophisticated automated trading system that runs on NinjaTrader 8, which incorporates price action, order flow, LSTM-based machine learning, as well as trade, risk, and money management parameters that puts you in full control of every step of your trades, then watch this video in its entirety to learn more about Price Action Pivoter version 4, which will provide you with all the trading tools you'll ever need to automate and fully manage your trades on NinjaTrader, whether you're using NinjaTrader Brokerage, Interactive Brokers, or any other trading brokerage that works on NinjaTrader 8. And all this while you're doing something else with your time. Because sitting around a desk surrounded by computer monitors or spending your precious time trying to optimize indicators that won't work with any consistency no matter what you do is not what we were put on earth to do. My name is Rafi Sosikian. I'm a licensed and registered commodity trading advisor. I'm a seasoned software engineer and I'm the principal at Pinnacle Quant LLC. I've got an exciting video to share with you. So let's jump right in. If you're a student of the market, you've already observed the volatility we've been experiencing. And in my opinion, we're going to continue to experience such volatility going forward for several years to come. To that end, I added another strategy that is piggybacking off of the main system strategy called Price Action Volatility Harvester. In my view, volatility is a very good thing for day trading, not so great for those that are long-term investors. So this gives day traders, particularly futures day traders that can take advantage of subtle price moves, a tremendous advantage. By adding price action volatility harvester, you as a futures day trader can take advantage of these subtle, often missed trading setups and squeeze more out of this market by having this automated trading strategy take trades that would otherwise have been missed. These very subtle price action setups don't come by every day, but when they do, taking advantage of them has proven beneficial. Take a look at the trades with Price Action Volatility Harvester enabled versus when Price Action Volatility Harvester was not enabled. As you can see, the difference is significant. In between the years of January 1st, 2023 until September 6th of 2024, there were 269 trades without Price Action Volatility Harvester being enabled. So just using the main system strategy. Now those results are pretty good in my opinion. However, when you enable Price Action Volatility Harvester as we've enabled here in this particular analyzer tab, you'll notice that there are 446 trades. That's 177 additional trades over the same two year period that we're analyzing. Moreover, not only did the net profit improve significantly, approximately 50%, versus the price action volatility harvester not being enabled. We also have a slightly reduced max drawdown, which is always a welcomed good thing. Now, when I was a money manager, I used to charge zero and 35. What that means is I would charge zero dollars for my management fee, but I would charge 35% on my performance. Now, if you look at these numbers here over the last 1.75 years, approximately, the total net profit was 61,537, but that does not include commission, though it does include slippage, as you can see here. So let's reduce it as far as from the total net profit, the actual commissions paid, and I didn't make any money off of commissions. I would just charge whatever the commission that I was being charged to actively manage the client's account for them. Approximately, let's say $5 round trip, so it'd be 2230. So if you subtract from 61,537, 2230, you would end up with $59,307. Now, if you multiply that by my performance fee, which was 35%, the client over the 1.75 1.75 years would have paid me $20,757. I know $20,757 appears to be a significant amount to charge for performance over 1.75 years, but please bear in mind that it's all relative and that is why that fee would have been justified for a couple of different reasons. One, look at the performance results, compare that to what SPY is producing over the same period of time, and you'll see that it is a multiple of the return that SPY would have produced for the same time based on this hypothetical performance. The other reason was, hedge funds at the time were charging two and 20. That means that they were charging 2% money management fee plus a 20% performance fee. Moreover, they would charge other fees that a lot of investors would not consider until they finally got their statement, which would include things like accounting fee, statement fee, commissions fee. These are fees that they would charge on top of the traditional commission fee that would be charged to the hedge fund by the brokerage, etc. So the fees that I was charging at the time, and all of this can be corroborated in the disclosure documents that I had with the National Futures Association, that it would 
would be in fact in line and fair versus the returns that one could have anticipated based on this hypothetical performance. This is why I believe price action pivoter at Mach 15, the lifetime license offers tremendous value to investors that are looking to invest in an automated trading system, particularly for NinjaTrader. This automated trading strategy is essentially three different strategies that any trader can incorporate into their current portfolio and be able to take advantage of the day-to-day -day volatility that we see in the market, particularly when trading index futures like the ES or MES, the micro ES. Moreover, Mach 15 is indeed a lifetime license. That means you pay only once and you get to use it for many, many, many years to come. It also means that you get all upgrades for no additional charge. This also, of course, applies to anybody who has an active paid price action pivoter license. That means you can just go to the Pinnacle Quant control panel, download price action pivoter for at no additional charge as you already have a paid active license for price action pivoter. Now, price action pivoter version four does have two automated strategies. Of course, we've discussed price action pivoter, the main system strategy, which now comes with price action volatility harvester in version four. And it has the order flow delta algorithm, which is an aggressive trading strategy. So there are two automated trading strategies, but there's also special operations, which is a semi-automated trading strategy. Now I developed special operations to accommodate every type of trader that is interested in trading any instrument, particularly futures instruments on NinjaTrader. So with special operations, since it is a semi-automated trading strategy, this is essentially caters to about 5% of my clients. Now, a majority of my clients, and I've been blessed to have served nearly 230 clients, are using one of the two automated trading systems in price action pivoter, so either strategy one or strategy three. But some of them are essentially generally wanting to trade with a bit more control on particular prices. Let's take a look at the chart. Now, this is, for example, the mid pivot points PHL indicator. Now in the mid pivot points PHL indicator, which is part of the price action pivoter suite, so you get this included, you have all sorts of price levels, including traditional pivots, Fibonacci pivots, mid pivots, two days ago high and low, and yesterday's high and low prices. So essentially almost any price level that is being observed by any algorithm, any bot out there is essentially right here at your fingertips with the mid pivot points PHL indicator. Now, when you combine the mid pivot points PHL indicator with ML price map, which is an LSTM based machine learning model, which is super easy to use and runs on a standalone Python software that is also included with Price Action Pivoter version four, which you can use to have it predict if price is going to go higher or lower by RTH close as well as predict what the potential range for that day is going to be. In order for the LSTM model to make a prediction for you, you first need to train the model with relevant near-term data. To that end, I developed Bulk Data Grabber, which is yet another software that comes with the price action pivoter suite of NinjaTrader trading tools that you can use to grab all sorts of relevant data from NinjaTrader's backtest search engine. The data includes things like OHLC, open high, low, close, volume, RSI, all Bollinger Band, so you can get a standard deviation of the price, as well as various moving averages, traditional pivots, Fibonacci pivots, and it also breaks down the trading by RTH, ETH, and the final lunch hour. I made Bulk Data Grabber very easy to use. The only thing that you would need to do would be to click on Grab All Data and select the start and end dates, and then hit Run. Assuming, of course, the set times reflect your trading time. Once you click on Run, the CSV that it generates, it will write to a folder called Price Action Pivoter by Pinnacle Quant, and the CSV file will look something like this. So it's gonna have tons of data that will be used to train the LSTM model. All you have to do is essentially grab the file by renaming it, so you can Control C it, and then Control V it into the ML Price Mapper. Just type CSV at the end, hit enter, now you're gonna get 12 different epochs or 12 different iterations, and it's going to give you a prediction of the price, whether it's gonna go higher or lower and the particular price range potential for that day. Of course, none of this is necessary if you're using strategy one or strategy three within Price Action Pivot or version four, as those two strategies, one and three, are fully automated. The only thing you need to do is input your particular parameters, such as what instrument you would like to trade, what days you'd like to trade, what your profit target is, what your stop or your risk per trade is, et cetera. However, for those who would like to trade in a semi-automated way, they can use special operations to apply the prediction made in ML Price Mapper to a chart that has the mid-pivot points PHL indicator on it, like so. 
So if you're looking at the mid pivot points PHL indicator and you're looking at all these various price levels that price can bounce off or price can break below or break above and you have the data from ML price mapper at your fingertips, then you would certainly have a significant advantage versus trading manually. For example, let's say you wanted to go short if price fell below S2 Fib, which is at 54.78. So just to round it off, you could have essentially put in 54.75 on the short side. And if price were to cross 54.75 and there was at least $250 worth of profit potential between that cross, the close price of 54.75 and 54.67, which is the next resistance line here, the S2 mid, then it would enter that trade. So using this advanced methodology, if your trading style was different than the majority of the clients that are using price action pivoter and you would prefer to trade in a semi-automated way where you want to input the particular prices where a trade should be entered, then you can use special operations to take care of that for you. And on top of that, other parameters such as your money and trade management parameters, your peak high low trailing stop parameters, your profit target, your stop are all being managed for you by price action pivoter. The only thing you needed to do is figure out where you wanted the system at what particular price you wanted the system to go long or short. Next, I'd like to discuss the third strategy, the order flow delta algorithm, which is a fully automated trading strategy for Ninja Trader. However, for this particular strategy, it relies on tick data and it also relies on the order flow plus add on indicator from Ninja Trader. So so in order for you to use the order flow delta algorithm, you number one need to have tick data and number two, you need to have the order flow plus add on indicator from NinjaTrader. If you have a lifetime license for NinjaTrader, order flow plus is already included in your lifetime license. If you don't have a lifetime license, you can actually lease the order flow plus indicator from NinjaTrader for a nominal fee. I believe at the making of this video, it is $59 per month to lease it from NinjaTrader, assuming you don't already have a lifetime license for NinjaTrader. Now, since the order flow delta algorithm is reliant on tick data, it's of course using other pertinent data such as minute bars, but because it's also using using tick data, then we need to use NinjaTrader's market replay to get an accurate picture of the results. This is strategy three, the order flow delta algorithm, which I deem to be an aggressive trading strategy. So let's go ahead and take a look at the strategy setup itself so we can review the parameters. So as you can see, Monday through Friday is selected. Nothing is selected for strategy one and two. This is strategy three. It's enabled. It's between 6.30 and 12.30 Pacific Standard Time and long and short are selected as well as of course the display order flow delta indicator which is the indicator on the bottom. And these are money and trade management parameters. This is the peak high low trailing stop parameters. My profit target is 100 ticks, my risk is 30, and essentially it's going to flatten everything at 12.59. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it performed. I ran it through July 1st on the market replay. This is the market replay playback, July 1st until September 6th of 2024. So let's go ahead and take a look at the performance numbers. All right, that's what we have in this time frame. So it's uh, essentially 66 trades. It has a max drawdown of 37.12, but it has a total net profit of 10,150. Let's break down the summary so that we can further analyze it. So we have the primary months of July and August. There were 30 trades in July, 32 trades in August. The max drawdown occurred in August, so 37.12, and the total net profit is about three times that, so 10,150. So that 3712 essentially occurred in the month of August. So there's also the month of June. The chart had loaded a few extra days. Both of these trades were the tail end of June. They were, I believe, on the 26th of June. And these two are the primary months that I'm looking at. In the month of September, we only have two trades thus far. So that doesn't tell us much information, but these two do. Now, as far as the addition that I've made to the order flow delta algorithm strategy three, of Price Action Pivoter version four, again, exclusively designed for Ninja Trader eight. I've only made a subtle addition, particularly to the short side of the strategy to address the increased volatility that I expect going forward. I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and beneficial, and I'm confident that Price Action Pivoter version four, the most sophisticated ES futures automated trading strategy for Ninja Trader, will become a vital tool in your trading arsenal for many years to come. Until next time, take care of yourself and God bless.